Okay, next I'm going to show you how to uh, make a backsplice. And what the purpose of a backsplice is, um, is rather than, uh, say, at the, the bitter end of a, a line, rather than cutting it off and, uh, and putting a whipping on it, uh, which can come unraveled and, uh, you know, it's, uh, it kind of terminates suddenly. The backsplice, we're going to be taking this and splicing it back down the length of the rope a ways. Of course, it's going to look a little bit neater than me just folding it over. Um, and it's going to form a thickening of the rope with a nice little pattern. And uh, it, it's a nice way of finishing the end of a line um, so that it, it really can't come unraveled. Um, we'll also make, because it thickens the line a little bit, uh, makes for a nice uh, handle for your hand. And uh, can also be used as a, a permanent stopper uh, if this is going through a, a properly uh, sized uh, block or, or pulley um, with this back splice that thickens the line, it, it won't be able to pull through um, pull through the pulley and you know, lose the rope out the other end. Okay, so let's begin. So the back splice is based on a crown knot. And uh, especially with three strands, it's actually fairly simple. Um, basically, each strand is going to go over top of its neighbor and point uh, downwards, down the length of the rope. So we'll start with the uh, with the white one. It's going to go over top of its neighbor and, and kind of point downwards. The next one, uh, the red one, is also going to go over top of its neighbor, the black one, and point downwards. And the black one is going to come over top of its neighbor, which is forming a, an eye at the moment, and point downwards. And then we'll just uh, work each one tight and, and we'll, we'll want to try to keep the, uh, the the twist happening in in the line and then just work it nice and tight so perhaps I'll do that once more just to show once again how that's done and th this uh, uh, crown knot is gonna in a moment uh, for, for the next thing I show you is gonna actually form the basis for a uh, are uh, splicing this rope onto a uh, onto a ring or a shackle. So once again, it's going over its neighbor, pointing downwards. Of course, it doesn't matter which one you start with. The next guy goes over its neighbor and points downwards, and this guy here goes over its neighbor and points downwards. And just carefully work them all all up, trying to keep a little bit of. Uh, twist in the rope so that it just uh, so that it maintains its shape. Work them in and get them nice and tight. Uh, you, you'll see that I'd, uh, I've got a little bit of whipping here um, just to prevent this rope from unraveling. You can remove it at this point. It's not, not needed anymore at all. Um, so I guess uh, just out of uh, laziness and not wanting to, to waste the whipping since I'm going to be using this again in a minute or two, I'm just going to leave this on and splice right over top of it. But it's it's not necessary at all, and it's uh, perfectly fine and uh, to remove it. So once you've uh, worked these things relatively snugly, it doesn't have to be super tight. Um, of course, there's not a whole lot of friction holding it here. Once we've got a few tucks in, uh, just like with the other splices, once you get a few tucks in, then you can give it a pull, and it'll actually stay uh, stay tight. So from here. Um, We've essentially got the, the splice started already, so all we need to do is each one in turn, uh, once again going against the lay, um, just uh, tucking under its neighbor. And each one in turn does that, so as this guy's coming up, that's the, the hole I go down through. And the third one, the red guy's coming up through there, so that's the one we we go down through. And just sort of work them roughly into shape. And just do this, uh, you know, two, three, four, five times uh, until you've got the, the desired length. So I'll just put a couple of more tucks in so you can uh, see, oops, so you can see how it goes and what it winds up looking like.
right, so I'll give these a little bit of a pull. And uh, just like any three strand uh, twisting to make it seat itself nicely, you can just give it so give a give it a nice uh, a nice rub. And, uh, and there we go. So it thickens the line a little bit. Of course, at this point, you can uh, uh, trim and melt these, or uh, or whip whip right along here and trim. We'll we'll show these uh, some of these little. Uh, finishing methods uh, a little bit later in the videos. You'll, you'll see it forms a really nice end. Of course the end can't come unraveled because it's not really the end. The ends work back down here. Forms a nice handle and if we've got this going through a, a pulley um, it's it's not going to want to pull through if the pulley is the right size for the rope. It's a nice decorative way of uh, finishing the end of your line. And it's called a back splice. <laughs>